Canadian wildfire smoke is so bad, it's reached all the way to Europe. Canada's wildfire season is now officially the worst ever recorded. There have been approximately 7.7 .7 million hectares of forest burned so far this year. They have so many wildfires in the province of Quebec right now that what we've heard from officials is they are having to pick and choose. It's impossible to fight all these fires in the same time. So yeah, it's, it's bad, but crossing the Atlantic Ocean bad? Like, when you think about how far that smoke has to travel and how much of it you'd need to cross an entire ocean and be visible in, like, Oslo, it kind of makes you wonder, how is that even possible? Well, with a little bit of help, I think we can explain. It certainly is uh, very possible. And um, if you look at the uh, satellite imagery that's uh, been uh, posted recently, uh, you can see very clearly that there are uh, there, there's smoke that's originating from from uh, Ontario, Quebec, and making its way all the way over to Europe. So, if I'm about to drop this pen and I ask you where you think it's going to end up, you can probably give me a pretty clear answer, right? And, and don't worry, it's not a trick question. It, it's it's not going to go over there or there or or up it's probably going to fall straight down. You can predict how gravity will affect it. And even on a windy day, you know, unless we're in the middle of a hurricane or something, the, the pen is heavy enough that it's probably not going to go too far off course. But when you've got a wildfire, and we're talking about very light particles like soot and ash, all of a sudden, it's a little harder to tell where it's going to end up or exactly how long it's going to stay airborne. It's a bit like dropping a feather off the top of a building. Sometimes it'll float more or less straight down, but other times it'll catch the air in funny random ways and maybe it ends up an entire neighborhood away. The more intense a fire is, the more likely you are to get smoke that goes high up into the air. When smoke is uh, emitted from a wildfire, from a, a hot source at the ground, um, if the atmospheric conditions are right, uh, the smoke can rise very high in the atmosphere. But a good portion of the emissions have gone all the way up into the uh, upper part of the atmosphere at eight or 10 kilometers above the ground. Um, and that, there they, those smoke particles um, catch the jet stream. Yes, so with a really strong fire, you get these intense updrafts, hot air rises, right? Those updrafts carry the smoke up and that's where you'll generally find more intense wind to carry that smoke farther and farther away. The, the smoke doesn't go straight over, it gets kind of like stirred around and, and transported. Um, and the jet stream is really, really super wavy. Um, that this is a this is kind of a visual of the jet stream today, um, and uh, the winds are like 30 to 60 knots. So I think they're up in the 100 100 plus kilometer an hour range, and this is up about 10 kilometers above uh, the Earth's surface. So it's very very speedy. Another factor in all of this, when you're considering smoke up high, is rain. You know, a good storm can cut through haze, but if you're high enough, you may not get rained on at all. So you remove the rain factor from stopping the smoke and up, up, and away it goes. So according to NASA, you've got this plume of black particles that's been steadily making its way across thousands of kilometers of ocean. Aerosol sensors in Spain and France noticed a spike of this stuff Monday morning, maybe five times what they typically see in that area. But while we saw and felt firsthand the health impact of wildfires here in Canada, you know, uh, Toronto, where I live, was hazy as hell. Montreal, for a time, was considered to have the worst air quality in the world. And remember what New York City looked like at one point. It was crazy. Like, it looked more like Mars than Earth. But Europe will probably be okay. Funny enough, the very thing that brought the smoke to Europe the wind at high altitudes, is kind of the reason why it's not a huge deal over there, at least as far as human health is concerned. It's just too high up to matter much. The upper atmosphere smoke that is making its way over to Europe is less of an air quality human health risk, and um, it's but it's certainly visible. So, some haze, yes, 
some interesting sunsets, a little more orange, a little redder than usual, but altogether nowhere near the kind of crisis that we felt closer to home. You know, the United States is really struggling with the air quality impact of Canadian wildfires. So even if all that smoke traveled a long way to, to cross the pond, I think we can pretty safely focus on our own North American problems.